Hi everyone, I'm back with the first in a mini-series of videos outlining the software and scripts and their setup that we'll be using in this mini ITX BMC build. And first up we have Windows Media Center. As the name suggests, Windows Media Center was created by Microsoft for Windows users to manage their media, much like XBMC. It has support for things like movies, music, pictures, home videos, similar things, as well as TV, both live and recorded. We use it on our media center setup to watch cable TV. But for this mini ITX BMC build, we'll be using it for one thing and one thing only. And that thing is Netflix. Now the decision to use the Windows Media Center version of the Netflix application versus the XBMC version of the Netflix application is because Windows licensed um, Netflix from Netflix for the Windows Media Center software. And what that means is since it's licensed, Netflix actively develops and supports this piece of software, whereas the XBMC application for Netflix is maintained by a dedicated group of people who don't have the support of Netflix. It is not licensed by Netflix meaning it has stability issues because Netflix is updating frequently and they don't let the XPMC team know. We kind of have to figure it out and adapt as it goes along. Versus the Windows Media Center application, it updates when Netflix updates, so you don't have to worry about any new changes to the software breaking anything. Other than that, the XBMC version of Netflix would be ideal because you don't have to travel from one program to another and make sure you're closing one before opening the next and that you can get back from one from the other very easy. However, the Windows Media Center version of Netflix works so much better than the XPMC version of Netflix that I decided it's really best to take the extra time to get it set up and get it working well. Of course, as with every other piece of software I'll be outlining in this demo, I'm going to show you how to make a link from XBMC to get to Netflix in Windows Media Center effortlessly. And of course, when you close Netflix in Windows Media Center, it'll take you right back to XBMC. That will be in the XBMC video at the end of the series. And as always, if there's anything you would like me to check out or work on, please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like the kinds of videos you're seeing here. And as always, thanks for watching.